Hello, boys and girls in the Blue Room at Zynga. I have a counting story to share with you today. It's a counting in a different way. We're going to count by threes today. One, two, three. After three comes six. After six comes nine. And after nine, what do you think comes after nine, boys and girls? Let's finish the story and see. Three, six, nine, and what comes next? Hi, boys and girls. I'm Black Crow. Hi, Inga. Hi, Black Crow. How are you today? I'm so great. I'm so excited because you're reading a story about me and my friends. Are you ready to get started, boys and girls? Here we go. Here we go, Black Crow. I'm ready. The book is called Counting Crows, and it's by Kathy Appelt. Illustrated by Dun Robert Dunlavy. There are some rhyming words in this story, too. Maybe you can listen for those as well. One, two, three crows in a tree. There they are. One, two, three. Three and tree rhyme. Let's count three crows. One, two, three. Three roly poly bugs. Three ripe mangoes, three for the counting crow, three by Django. Hmm, they're eating roly-poly bugs and mangoes for breakfast. Is that what you eat for breakfast? Hmm, mangoes and Django rhyme. Did you hear that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Crows in a nest of straw and sticks. Six and six rhymes. Here we have three, four, five, six. Or you can just say three, six. Here they are, boys and girls. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six salty peanuts, six ripe plums, six for the counting crows. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm, there's rhyming words there too. Plums, and do you know what rhymes with plums? Mmm, mmm, it's the word yum. Those might make an interesting breakfast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crows on a line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crows on a line. Let's put our next set of three up. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, nine counting crows. Nine little spicy ants, nine round crackers. Nine for the counting crows. Nine by smackers. There they are. Nine crows. Hmm. What do you think rhymes with crackers? You're right. It's smackers. I might eat the nine round crackers, but I don't think I'm going to eat nine spicy ants. Are you? Ten in a row, ten crows crow. Caw, 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 cackle, cackle, grackle. Oh, they're all in a row. Ten crows. We're going to have to move our crows over now because they're getting tight. But I still want you to be able to see the three groups of three and one more. There he is. Can you still sort of see him? There. Ten crunchy crickets, ten green peppers, ten for the counting crow. Yep, yep, yeppers. Hmm, what do you think rhymes with yeppers? Is it crickets or peppers? Crickets, peppers, nope. Crickets, yeppers, nope. Peppers, yeppers, peppers, yeppers, they rhyme. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. 
11 bright berries, 11 sweet peas, 11 for the counting crows, 11 if you please. I like peas and I like berries. Fruits and vegetables, those are a good choice. Do you think berries rhymes with please or peas rhymes with please? Boys and girls, I think it's peas and please. Twelve crows hop, twelve crows sing, twelve on a bark park bench, wing by wing. There they are, all in a row. And here are our birds, all in a row. We're definitely going to have to move them over now. There we go. Now we can see all 12 and we can count them one by one and then by threes. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Help, I fell down, Inga. I'm helping. 3, 6, 9, 12. After 9, counting by threes counts 12, boys and girls. Let's do it one more time. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 chewy chips, 12 slimy snails. Hmm. Not my favorite choice. One cat counts, 12 crows, 12 tails. Oh no, boys and girls, do you think that crows like cats? Who's going to have crows for breakfast? Who's thinking about crows for breakfast? Think it's good. One, two, three. See ya, tree. Off they fly. Four, five, six. Aloha, sticks. Oh, the cat's getting closer now, isn't he? Seven, eight, nine, adios line, boom. 10, 11, 12, Tell 12 crows flap, 12 crows fly, one dozen counting crop crows, by crows, by, and who's left, boys and girls? Just. Did you hear that word, boys and girls, in the last sentence? Twelve crows flap, twelve crows fly, one dozen counting crows. Bye, crows, bye. Did you hear that word, dozen? Do you know what a dozen is, boys and girls? A dozen is another word for three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve equals... A dozen. Do you know what this is? This is an egg carton for a dozen eggs. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve equals a dozen. So we we had twelve crows. Do you think we could put our twelve crows in there just like eggs? Let's see if it works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you know what that is called, boys and girls? It's called a half dozen. Half dozen eggs, which is six. Keep counting, then comes seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four more, twelve. And there we have, boys and girls, a dozen crows instead of a dozen eggs. Next time you go to the store and buy eggs, count your eggs. See if it's really 12. And boys and girls, 
it says it right on our carton here. Let me show you. One dozen, dozen, twelve. Hi, boys and girls. Was that a fun story? Did you see all my friends? Twelve friends. Me and my eleven friends equals twelve. Ha! Boys and girls, Inga has a poem to teach you. It's all about, shh, what can you guess? Gross. Ready? Can you do this with me, friends? Can you make a beak, a big crow's beak? And another crow's beak? How many crows do we have? One, two. Two little black birds sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, and fly away, Jill. Fly back, Jack, and come back, Jill. Hi, boys and girls. Can you do that with me? Here's another verse just for you. Two little blackbirds sitting in a tree. One named four and one named three. Fly away, four. Fly away, Three, come back four and come back three. That was fun. Did you like that, boys and girls? Guess what? I have a surprise. Inga knows lots more words and verses to go with that poem. Next time we visit with you, we will share more verses and a book. Let me show you the book. Ready, boys and girls? This book is called, Harold Loves His Woolly Hat. You see it? Hmm. Do you think, boys and girls, it's about me? Well, it actually is. I know all you see is Harold over there with his hat, but check it out. There I am. And I'm actually in this book in a big, loud way, just like I should be. So, we'll see you again, Black Crow and Inga, for the story Harold loves his woolly hat and a few more verses of the poem about the two little blackbirds. Bye, boys and girls. Bye.